Metal Driver here, and today I am looking at another AEW figure, and it is the Unrivaled Series 12, Jamie Hayter. We get our standard Unrivaled box, and on the back we see a nice image of Jamie Hayter. But before we continue, Lucas James, not 316, Atif Fazil, WWM Wrestling, Amer Cooper, East Coast Figs, and The Bloodline, you have been acknowledged. And Old Man Marvel, you are not acknowledged. Alright, with all that said, let's not waste any more time. Let's go ahead and open this up and take a closer look at Jamie Hayter. Here we have Jamie Hayter out of the packaging, and we get to see a 360 look of the entire figure. We see some nice details throughout, and she comes with some hand accessories that include gripping hands, fisted hands, open hands that are already on the figure, and those are the only accessories that she has. Does not come with the coat. If you want the coat, you'll have to get the chase version, which is disappointing because really that's the only difference with the chase and the regular release. The attire is exactly the same, and yeah, that leaves me disappointed because her coat is kind of a key accessory for her entrance, so it really would have been nice to get that with the regular release because most collectors, including myself, if we end up finding the the chase we're gonna keep it in its box and not open it so if you really want the coat you're gonna have to open up the chase so hopefully in the future Jazzwares can remedy that by giving us a second Jamie Hayter with the coat but as of now it sucks that we don't get that with the regular release then look at the head sculpt this is decent Certainly not one of the better head sculpts by Jazzwares, but it's not the worst by any means. I don't know, looking at it from the front, I don't think it has the best likeness to Jamie, but if you move it off to the side or turn the head, the likeness looks a little bit better. I don't know, that's just me. Maybe it's the paint on the head sculpt. The paint that we do get is good. The lips are painted well, the eyes and the eyebrows, the eyeshadow looks good. Again, the head sculpt is not necessarily bad, but could certainly have been a little bit better as far as the likeness to Jamie. But what I do like is the sculpting of the hair. I think this looks really nice. I like how it's off to the side. Good sculpting on the waves and the curls. Sculpted braid right here. That looks really good. Love the bangs. And I do like that it has two different colors. So it's not just one solid blonde paint. We do get a darker color on the rest of the hair as opposed to the bangs. So that is nice. I do like that. And the other thing I like are the details on the attire. The top looks really nice. Good design throughout, and the paint that we get looks really good. I don't see anything that's sloppy or mispainted. Really nice design on the top. And then we do get this painted fishnet that's underneath the top. So it is one solid piece, but they paint it so it looks like it's her skin showing on the other side of the netting. I think that's good. Painted pretty well for the most part. Some slight minor imperfections here and there on this piece, especially down here. But it's not really that big of a deal. Then we get the painted fishnets here by the chest. Little bit of an imperfection right there. But again, not the biggest deal in the world. Doesn't ruin the figure. The back of the upper body looks pretty good. Some nice sculpting here. So it's not just a painted strap. It is sculpted, so that is nice. Good paint on the tattoo. Looks nice. Nothing to complain there, at least not for me. And on the topic of not complaining, looking at her backside, her cheeks, and they are sculpted really well. They're big, they're round, they're curvy. I'm pretty sure the sculptors at Jazzwares did a lot of thorough research on making this as accurate as possible. I'm sure they had a lot of material to look at. But I can safely say that the sculpting, the thickness of this cake, is accurate. So I'm sure that'll make a lot of collectors out there very happy. <laughs> yeah, boy. Now aside from the sculpting, the paint is really good on the trunks here. Some good reds and silvers. The black looks good. A little bit of fuzzy work right here, but the rest of it looks pretty crisp and clean. So can't really complain about that. There is a little bit of extra paint right here, so don't know what she sat on. But aside from that, everything else looks good. Look at the legs. The paintwork looks good for the most part. Could use a little bit of extra coat of red right here. But aside from that, looks nice. Sculpting on the rings, too. Tattoo here, painted really well, that looks good. I love that skull and the roses. The front of the trunks has good paint for the most part. Really can't complain about that. Thigh piece right here, painted well, looks good. Inner strap painted well. Knee pads look good, painted well, painted well. Pretty much what I'm going to be saying throughout the figure. So yeah, really happy with how the paint detailing looks on this. Then the boots here, white, black front, then reverse colors on the other boots. So good paint, good sculpt, and some good thickness. Looking at the articulation, the head is on a hinge and ball joints, so it looks that high up. Not far down to the plastic of the hair can turn side to side that much and not really tilt all that much. 
shoulder goes that high up, it rotates all the way around, a bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, Jay, let's see if I can fix that, there we go, much better range there, a swivel and hinge at the wrist, ball joint at the diaphragm, so crunches that far forward, and that far back, holy cow, the waist is split, not good jazz wears, not good, but should be an easy fix, yep. So yeah, going back to the torso, it's about as much as it moves. Can turn side to side and tilt. And then there is a waist swivel with this, yeah, poor design right here. It does go back in. Legs go that far out. They go that high up. Let's see if I can move the inner thigh a little bit. See if I can go higher. Yep, there you go. Thigh cut. Double jointed knees. Hindered a bit by this knee pad. A cut at the top of the boot, ankle goes that high up, that far down, and some pretty good ankle pivot. Then before I go ahead, I just wanted to show you that when I move the leg up, that cut into the plastic right here by the upper thigh, which is incredibly disappointing. I have noticed this with a lot of the Jazzwares figures, that that'll happen, so as you can see, as I move it up, this crotch piece right here digs into the thigh, Makes that crease, that indentation, and yeah, that is bad. So, yeah, that's a problem that's been plaguing the AEW figure since the beginning of the line. I'm hoping that gets fixed in the future because that looks really bad, and that leaves my figure looking damaged, so that is disappointing. Here is Jamie Hayter next to her partner in crime, Britt Baker. And then here she is next to the Supreme Britt Baker that I never opened. So I should probably get on that. And finally, here she is next to Billy Gunn. And why Billy Gunn? Well, because he's an ass man. Overall, I think the Jamie Hayter figure is pretty good for the most part. The head scan certainly isn't the worst that I've seen, but I would have liked it to be a little bit better. Really, the only complaint that I have, or complaints, would be the couple of QC issues that I encountered with this one. Hopefully that is just mine, and it's not a widespread thing, but... Be aware of that waste that popped off, but the QC issue that probably will be, or I'm certain will be a widespread thing, is that plastic in the upper thigh getting ruined when you move the leg too high up. I've seen that with a lot of the AEW figures. It sucks that it happened with mine. I really should be a little more careful now, considering I'm fully aware of this problem. However, I really shouldn't be dealing with this. Jazzware should really fix this. Hopefully they do. But aside from that, if you're a Jamie Hayter fan, I think you'll like this. Or if not, you'll love certain aspects of the figure. I'm glad to have it in my collection. Hopefully this video gave you enough information on whether or not you want to pick this up. But in the meantime, hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't done so already. If you want to see more wrestling figure reviews, click on the card at the end of the video. And I'll see you next time.